see what happened is because I have to cheat with the sound on the, the trailer for some reason, it doesn't use the audio properly on OBS. I actually have to open up the MP4. And if I do it before I click start, the MP4 obviously blocks my game. <laughs> so I forgot to click, so. I suppose we have more time to look at the teams, though. So at least we've got four moles. We've got four pikes as well. No muskets, really? No muskets. Wow. Okay. Um, the defenders, the pond guard, have got two muskets out. Three pikes, four moles. Shorts. We've also got a glaive. Interesting. Obviously, the iron reapers and falcos were banned. We've got flames out. We got Modar. We got Keshigs. Shenjin. Kaylee Militia on both teams as well. Interesting. Nine sets of cavalry for the defenders as well. The four sets for the attackers. So Pongard are definitely cavalry, cavalry heavy. The, def uh, the attackers had a lot of pikes and stuff though, so this might be very interesting. Mm, and nice thank pikes. you for the follows, boys. Much appreciated. What are you going to say? Pike, pikes, the pikes and moles are fairly, fairly even, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, as in unit-wise, pikes, they've got a lot, like, pike units, like Fort Brachio and uh, IPGs and stuff. So I think, even though Pondguard have got more cavalry, uh, I, I think Flame Leaf have just got the counter already. If you like. We'll see. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, uh, head us. Has he seen it, has he? Yeah, no, has um, DM'd he me put, as well, I think. Yeah, he's put a comment about for like 350 ping or something, so... <laughs> oh, about him spazzing around left and right? Yeah. Dead has already come with his excuses. <laughs> <laughs> right, so obviously Blame Elias are on the attack at the beginning. So they're in blue. On guard are in red. It looks like they're actually going to defend A and B, looking at this. Marco G raided my stream with and thank viewers. you for the raid, Marco G. Much appreciate, my dude. I hope your your stream went well. I hope your matches were fun. We're obviously on the last one for the night. It's on well, Blame Elias versus Pongard. It's literally just started. Um, there's a five minute delay, so if anybody starts writing in chat now and you're wondering why the hell I'm not reacting to anything, in five minutes you'll actually see that I, I said something. Probably the wrong thing, but I said something. So two guys have jumped over here. Amstree and SKW. Two pike. It looks like they're gonna get away though. Saying that Big Mac might get them. I don't know how much health they've got, you can't see. Oh, yeah, so got one of them. oh yeah, if you've got one of them, yeah. Amtree's gonna get up there. Okay. There you go, Header, that's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sledge main is his best polax on NA, okay. Good, good, good. Right, so we're just waiting for all of the siege equipment to get in. Oh saying that Pond have just completely abandoned everything. They're pulling back in. This is the shout, though. I think I can't help but feel like this is the, this is what most teams have planned for. That the, the defenders just pull back to the end point. Um, the attackers are going to get B. They're going to get A really easily. Obviously, they're going to get C. Um, they've even got the healers with them. What are they even called? I should know this. What's that new tier uh, tier three unit called, Bob, from the new season? Uh, Alchemist, right. isn't it? Yeah. Like, Blame Elise have actually got the Alchemists with them. Yeah, three sets of Keshigs and Armigas is their cavalry, so they've definitely got a cavalry disadvantage. They've got no archers, so they're not going to have it easy getting up onto the wall. They've obviously got all of the Trebs. The defenders have got two sets of flames out. They've got Zakali Militia as well. I'm going to assume there's going to be a flame behind the, the building here. No, that's Trebable here, isn't it? Oh, there's that. That's just Madal there. There's the other flames. All right, yeah, he's going to tuck them right into the side there until they actually get pushed and then go, and the other flames will be over this side. Yeah, would you, you can hold there as long as the wall's not taken. The other flames aren't down. Where are the other flames? I'm going to have a quick gander around because I want to see where they are before fighting actually kicks off. Are they on the, are they on the wall? Are they on like, the staircase here? So many units stacked on top, I can't hatch. There they are. Oh no, that's testicle throwers. No idea where the second flame boy unit is. 
I suppose we'll see as soon as they start shooting. The attackers have got Shenjin, they've got the Alchemist out, they've got Zakalian, they've got a Flamer Boy as well. There you go. Defending Zakalian, bombing the crap out of stuff down here. There's the second throw. Didn't do too much on that one though. Another very slow start from Blame Elias. I can't. If Pongard would have more muskets out now, they'd be doing work, man. They got four out. They, fucking... Yeah. They've just swapped some people out. Well, they're they're still out it's the pikes, isn't it? You can just swap between the both. This medium armor, yeah. Completely safe down there. They got a long sword as well to keep topping up health as well. I mean, I can't help but feel like Blame Elise are going to push to the main gate in a second. They've got to do something about them, their muskets. Their muskets are just going to be devastating. Yeah, so yeah I would have wanted to climb in the wall. Okay. Oh, they're lucky they got up there. Yeah. All heroes. And they've climbed up this side bit as well. That's a good treb though. One guy pushed a lot up there. Then they've only lost 19 units though, so it's not too bad. Gamer King 93 raided yeah, my stream with 20 to... viewers. All, all Thank you for the raid, Gamer King. Much appreciate, my guy. First information: there's a five-minute delay, so apologies for not reacting instantly. As soon as you're in, you'll see it in five minutes. <laughs> Uh, the first match has just started, so we got Blame Elias attacking Pongard. Nothing much has happened so far. We've just lost the first hero. No, that's the second hero, isn't it? I think one apiece now, yeah, one apiece. Didn't even click that. Thanks, game. Right. We've got up the wall here. That palace guards. Like a couple of sets of palace guards. That treb's not going to do much, it's just heroes up there. Well, it is because they're rotating another unit. They're going to walk straight. Oh, no, no, no. no they he, stopped. He pulled. Stopped. I think they would have uh, seen that straight off the bat. Um, Grey Airs aren't going to be able to beat what's down there, though. Obviously, saying that, they've got a lot of muskets just bombing stuff. A lot of muskets. What's this madness going on, Gamer King? It's um, Conqueror's Blade Rivals. The Sledge main just jumped off and nuked somebody and climbed straight back up, so he's laughing. Main push going on the back gate now. They got ah, there's where the flames were. They must have been tucked around the back of the building here. Yeah. I think Pongard have got a decent setup there, though. That's going to be difficult to push in. Elias is trying to get to the flamers, look, and he's managed to sneak through as well. He's going to be stunned too much. Cavalry oh, no, he's from he's behind, I should have zoomed in a bit. So Maximus Meridius just coming in and just ruined stuff from behind there. We've got another cavalry coming from behind, C4. That's Keshig's. They're going to do work, man. When they get around the corner here, yeah. They're going to go straight into an IPG walk, though. No. On guard just dominated that engagement, yeah. though. Like, massively. There's nothing going on on that side. Let's get back over here. I'm surprised they didn't try and take a little bit more advantage of the walls when they had the Palace guards holding. Hmm. And they could have pushed the walls and then took complete control, which then obviously puts the muskets off the walls. Very well played from uh, from Pongard there, though. They reacted so well to that. And they're just coming yeah. from multiple directions with cavalry. They've lost four heroes to 13 of the uh, the attackers. Obviously, there's there's no death limit like there is on a tournament. However, obviously, the more you die, the longer it takes to respawn. Um, so it's always good to kill the heroes. There's no artillery allowed as well for anybody that's just joined and you, you haven't seen any of CB rivals yet. So you can use your own. This is there. Are, everyone's on their main character. It's all on the live servers. They've all got their customized, uh, crafted armor and weapons. They've got runes. They've got doctrines. They've got basically anything they want. Uh, they just can't use artillery. And there's units banned. So on this match, it's um, Iron Reapers and Falconetti. Was the ban? Looks like they're going main gate. Are they actually just going to go straight through main gate? Or are they going to like rotate around? I can't help but feel like Pongard's going to sally out in a sec with cavalry. They've only got one guy up with cavalry though, so maybe not. That one guy is ASM tree. Critical gonna get the resupply? No. 
He's just been caught out though by Mr. Sock. Yeah, they've killed him. Pretty kill. I suppose it's not the end of the world. But they're gonna go for a main push at the back here. On guard's ready for it though. They've got short waves on this map to, to rotate. You've got Llama the Alex and Bravo at the back here. Is that just it's... so they can place Trent's or because they've not yeah. got units coming up? But it also shows you why oh, you go. They're going main uh, gate. taking the walls is massive because he stops the calls of the rotations being as clear. They're climbing now, they've got palace guards, and I think that's another two sets of palace guards down there. So there's a, possibly a good treb. They've just got a short bow above them though, dealer for life, just constantly powering pounding down on them. If they'd have had their muskets up here now upon guard, they'd be ruining this. And they've got a couple of muskets rotating up now as well. So we're getting more and more up this back wall. Soul's got his uh, musket out now. I think he was like spear before. Spear or pike he was. Well, that's oh, a good trip though. Yeah, but... Not actually killing units though. If it doesn't kill them, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, it killed some though. Oh, there we go. Right, there isn't a push going through just yet. I'm going to check the back gate. Back gate's nothing. There's just a couple of Blame Elias guys there to make them think. Oh, there you go. Main push, main gate. They got, they got a lot through there without any answer. Well, come down the stairs, the, the flame is on the they? back. Yeah. A couple of guys just jumped down, look, they're going straight for the flamers. Like six guys from Blame Elias, that's a good shot. On guard, they've still got a couple of guys at the back gate, there's... Oh, they're fighting outside, Mr. Top, but that, I can't help but feel that that's actually good for the attackers, that there's on guard yeah. players out there. Um, it's 14 to 12, so Blame Elias are winning the hero fight just now, 12 to 11. They're going to put pressure upon the support. resupply here to stop them getting units in. Yep. They're not getting control of the base point just yet, though. That treb wow. was just a preemptive. I don't think it's going to do anything, though. No, that's doing nothing. The back here, there's nothing anymore. We've got dudes spawning in or just swapping units out. Yeah, so they've won the, the base point. Blame Elise are now on the resupply, though, and they can obviously treb this back area and they can treb this area here as well. They're probably quite happy fighting. That's 10 versus 8, though, and... The defenders have died less. The pond guards are going to have a lot shorter respawn time. They've got a lot shorter distance. They're going to be able to react to anything fairly easily. They've even got dudes blocking the gate so that Blame Elias can't get guys in so easily. They've got more cavalry up as well, so getting Keshigs into this. Fort Brachio is pushing in. You've got Modowl there. I think pond guard have got the better units to win that fight. To be fair, it's going to be a grind, but I think they've got the better units to win that fight. Here comes another main push at the thingy. Oh, countered by Keshig, though. Is that Mr. Billy, I think? Had a good charge. Yeah. There's Pikes coming now, though, so his unit's probably gone. Here comes Madao. Yeah, they're still fighting back there, but it's it's, it's GG on that re resupply point. Pongard have just got too many units, and it's now only six attackers. To tw I think they're going to have to pull back and reset. They just wait. They don't want to just go piecemeal in. They're now wasting heroes and units. They've got a set of Fort Brachios blocking the gatehouse, basically. On guard looks like going to sally out here. They went back supply. They should Instead have of going had... for them, the, the, they maybe they should have done it the other way around. They should have main pushed the base and done some on the resupply. Yeah, they only needed to stop the um, being able to change units. That was all they needed to do. Hmm, that's a good trip, though. Going to do some damage on the stuff there. They've got short swords, so if they don't lose units, they can top back up. Got a decent setup on the back gate again. Unit wise, it's very even, although Blame Elias have lost a lot more troops. But they had more trash as well, I suppose. Yeah, they've got a couple of crap tier units out. Pongard have got mainly all tier 4s and tier 5s. I bet they've got a couple of guys with no more. I think that Guild Show's dead, he might have a unit in a second. Can I go already? Yeah, I think I think the defenders have got this fight. Seven minutes. Saying that, man. They've got five trebs up. I'm gonna see what the, the hero death difference was. So twenty-nine deaths so far for Blame Elias. Twenty-two. So that's actually evened out quite a bit, man. Yeah, that's not too bad to be fair for the attackers mm. you take that. The disparity on the last match was what? It was like nine? Well, they, they, to, normally... to like fifty one or something? Yeah, normally in a situation like this, you'd say, what, two, three to one on a lot of 
the attackers. Yeah. But taking well, that. they got the wall. They don't really have the units to capitalize on taking the wall, though. They've got no, no range to rain death down with. How many Keshigs? On Gadda, still got three sets of Keshigs up as well, plus an Armagus. They can keep them boys out of the way and just react quickly to stuff as and when they need to. That wasn't such a good trip. KW is just been a pain. So they're rotating back gate again. Okay. It's just the bait and they're going to go back to the main gate because they've done that a few times now, I think. Oh no, they're going through. I'm going to zoom a little bit further out because last time I missed the back charge, I think C4's got cavalry and, and Gilcho. Gilcho's got Keshig, so he's probably going to come around the back here. They're winning the initial engagement. Pongard are now, though, coming in from behind. You've got guys jumping in the background. I don't think they've seen it. That Oh, they just managed to stop. Fort Brachio's turned around. Gilcho's coming around the back with his Keshigs, but if they... These Fort Brachio face that way now. They've got a couple of sets there. They'll stop that. They are getting pinched from behind now, he? though. He's pulled yeah, he's turned out. around. Well, he's still there just in case he can get through. Like, now if he went, he'd actually do work. He'd... I'll send that there. They turn back around. They are slowly grinding forward. The Ooh. defenders have lost uh, six heroes. The attackers have only lost one, so they've definitely got the advantage, but soon... Here we go. Here goes... Go oh, no. Yeah, cool. They've turned a unit around. I was going to say, if they don't have a unit covering the back there, they're, they're going to get wrecked. Bravo is going to lose his unit, though, I feel. They're getting a good push on. They've got the last couple of trebs as well going down here. You've got cavalry coming from the back. Arm tree. He's just been countered by blood story, though. I think arm tree did better there, though, because I think blood story just used the two ability and arm tree charged. There's IPGs blocking the back here. Cavalry straight in. They actually got through, though. So we've got 14 heroes up from the attackers against 10 defenders. You've got C4 in the back lines here. I think he's got Keshigs out. He does have Keshigs. So once he gets in the back end, so that's clearing. This is going to be a problem. They've got, what, three sets of cavalry coming through the back? They do have Fort Brachio in the back here. Pike's down already as well. So that's why the cavalry just pushed around here. Well, it looks like they're going to hold. I think they are. It's down now, down to 9 attackers and 11 defenders. Obviously, the defenders have by far the shorter route. Yeah, they've got it. There's no way they can win that now. There's just not enough blue here. Yeah, it's all red units. It's a very, very good push. Just to... yeah. Unfortunately, that, that cav was definitely the, the changer there. What I really liked with Pongard then, though, they weren't. they didn't just like man bet. Like, they didn't go full retard. Like with the cavalry, mm -hmm. when you don't like to counter it, they literally waited, and then like just one after the other went in to to, to get the most damage and the most worth out of the cavalry that they could. Um, that was really well played. And then when once they started getting the advantage on the thing, the cavalry just swarmed from everywhere. Like there was there was nothing you could do then. Yes, Very well yes. played. Are they gonna have enough units for one more push? Possibly, but it's not going to be the quality. Look, they've got three sets of village watchmen, Matelitori, four sets of village watchmen. One guard have still got a, a decent wedge of Keshigs out. They've got Modal, a couple of sets. They've got Fort Brachio, they've got Claymores. They've even got Iron Cap Scout Cavalry. Be of those boys. <laughs> <laughs> they like mowing down uh, village you watchmen. Can't, you can't actually catch them, really, if they're because off. They're so quick. Yeah, yeah. But I, don't, I can't see Blame Elias winning this. Because like, they have to push now, basically. They have to clear, and then they have to get a, get the cap points off. And how much do you reckon they need? 20 seconds? For that, that amount left? I, I don't know. I'd, I'd be... Yeah. Like, looking at it, I wouldn't say any more than 20, but... But are they can, they're not going to have 20 seconds, I don't think. They haven't got the units to kill the heroes. That's, that's nah. going to be the problem. Look how so... bad that looks now. They've got Shenzhen. They've got <laughs> Imperial Shields. Fort Brachio and uh, Zakali Militia, otherwise known as Testicle Throwers. They're coming through the main gate, though. Uh, come through both gates. They're going to try and pin oh, some yeah. by the looks of it. I think that's not going to work. Surely. They've got two moles jumping on some of the cavalry back here. I think they're going to get rid of most of that before they can do anything. General Yukai Hiden here just jumped off the wall. He's coming through behind now. This push at the back's going well. Gilcho's still got his cavalry up, I think, though. So he's going to fly around now with Keshigs and push two. They just got stopped, though. Yeah, 
just... That's GG, man. They've already lost four, four heroes for the attackers. The so round one goes to the defenders, pond guard. And then there'll be a role reversal on the next match, and we'll see... We'll see who does... <laughs> Big Mac just got picked up by takedown. <laughs> Although Mr. Top tried saving him, but it was too little too late. <laughs> Attackers are on six heroes. Some some good pushing, but uh, the you know the defense of coming out and coming back round was 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 nice to cab. Yeah, uh, definitely kept them guessing, man. Like um, it's really well played from Pongard. I like I, like I said, I really liked that they were just patient. They didn't like Guild show a couple of times here. Could have gone around. And he would have probably just lost his unit. And he literally just waited for the perfect time to push through and actually then get, like, the, the, the leadership cost from his unit, if not more. Like, he did work, yeah. I think, with his unit. And there was a couple of other guys that were with him. Guild chosen name just popped that, that I could remember better. It just shows you, you ha like, the one clear effective attack that we saw on push-wise was obviously taking the wall. And yeah. even if you've only got two muskets on the top of the wall with you know a, a couple of units you if you can hold it you're going to weaken down enough them them flames and that for when you come through the gate this talks running for his life here look <laughs> <laughs> kill him i just kill I him. just left pike in a mall oh oh there he goes <laughs> but no good fight it was, it was good that was fight. a pretty good fight. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the next fight goes. That was really well played from Pond Guard. I mean, Blame Elise didn't do bad though. It wasn't like they got completely steamrolled. Oh no, no. Yeah. Oh, look at the amount of plays that they got with like high kill counts as well. And I think heroes, yeah, a lot of the hero deaths on Blame Elias. Um, and Pond Guard had what one? No, one guy that didn't die. ASM Tree or Asm Tree, whatever he's called. A lot of hero killers going on, a lot of assists. Well played, man. Very well played.